Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Here we are going for, you know, win number nine. It doesn't sound that impressive given the circumstances, but ooh, I really like Not Nearsighted Friend, 67JSJVYJ. But start, starting with um, Forget Me Now is really cool, and we can do a couple of interesting things with it depending on uh, how we want to handle it. One thing that we can do, rate of fire seems okay, damage seems actually maybe a little bit higher than average, which is awesome. One thing we can do is if we don't get a key, we can forget, uh, forget me now on this floor. Then we get probably an easy boss fight. Well, I mean, it'll be easy relative to the floors that come after, except for the floor immediately after, because all the basement and cellar bosses are pulled from roughly the same pool, I'm assuming. Um, but it'll save us a key. So we can do that, get an extra item room, get an extra shop. Or we could use it after uh, the Depths 2. Not Depths 2, oh my god. Basement 2. You have to forgive me, it's been six hours since I played Isaac. Paralysis is not so bad. Uh, so my my Isaac Fu is a little rusty here. I'm obviously making a little bit of a self-aware joke there. Ha ha. Laugh, goddammit. The laugh sign is on. Anyway. Um, the other thing we could do, we could use it after the basement 2 or the cellar 2. That way it does cost us another key to actually get into the item room. That's a relatively minor thing, assuming we have the key. We have a little bit uh, higher chance of having enough money to actually get something from our shop, which is actually very worthwhile. It was a very tight dodge there. Um, and we kind of burn like our penalty for having taken a deal with the devil guaranteed, at least hopefully guaranteed, on the basement too. And as a result, we're much more likely to get another deal with the devil on the run. Or we're probably like tangibly more likely. Plus, the only thing that it really costs us is one extra key, so... Given uh, that, my preference is usually if we start with the Forget Me Now. I can't believe we actually have a strategy for starting with Forget Me Now, but like Nearsighted Friend, it's shown up uh, somewhat quickly on a lot of runs. Not just uh, as Eden, but also, you know, in, a, in an early item room. Um, I, I think my preference is to use it after the Basement Part 2, just so you can burn another, uh, another floor's penalty easily for getting that deal with the Devil. If you don't know what I mean, basically it's that, you know, immediately after taking a deal with the Devil, on the following floor, you have like a 75% lower chance of getting a deal with the devil on that floor. So what we do is kind of like get our deal with the devil, then we artificially insert another floor with the forget me now here. And then that means that on the caves part one, we will only have the uh, the secondary penalty, which is a minus 25% chance to our deal with the devil um, chances as opposed to the 75% chance. Basically, you just do one extra floor. We might even get a deal with the devil on that floor. It's just unlikely. Or less likely, let's put it that way. Because something that's 25% likely to happen, I don't know if I'd say that's unlikely. I mean, you know, if you do something 400 times, it's going to happen 100 times. It's not exactly rare, but I guess less likely. Anyway, uh, mostly I'm just going into a very laborious discussion of the uh, arithmetic of the game because we have not crazy fantastic DPS and we're fighting a room that has some really annoying enemies in it, so I wanted to fill some dead air. We should try this. We might have been able to get the penny, but it's kind of not that big of a deal in my mind. I wanted to do that to see if we got a crawl space or something. Now we can get that tinted rock as well. Black bean is a shit item, but it's not as shitty as butter bean <laughs> or various other actives, I suppose, but mostly it is pretty bad. Uh, so we got a bomb out of it. Honestly, all things considered, that's not that bad. One thing we are lacking, though, is a key, so this will backfire a little bit if we're not able to, um... Ah, uh, it's not worth it. It might be worth it, but it's probably not worth it. Um, this might backfire on us if we don't get a key on our next floor and thus can't access the item room, or if we don't get a key on the floor after that, but I'm not gonna sweat it too much, because still burning the deal with the devil chance is probably, um, preferable for us. It does suck. That's not a key. It does suck for us a little bit that we're on a uh, Curse of the Blind floor, because we're probably going to want to take whatever's in our deal with the devil. Like, we have the HP for it, and we're going to... Whoop! Whoop! We're going to need, um... To get that deal with the devil precedent. And there's our key. Uh, but before we use that key, why don't we see if we can actually get in here. This would solve a lot of problems. That is a secret room, and this is going to make my life very easy. We're also going to pick up... I don't know, that was probably like six cents. Makes it conceivable that we could, uh, I don't know, maybe buy like a battery charge from our shop if we get something in here that we're interested in. It might not be worth buying a battery charge. It's a great item. It's actually very unfortunate that I'm going to have to, I don't have to, but that I'm going to use the forget me now. 
Is the Satanic Bible worth more than the Forget Me Now? Honestly, probably, but the Forget Me Now is uh, more interesting. <clears throat> Pardon me. More interesting and a little bit more fun as well. There's been these, you know, hashtag BC wildfires in, in British Columbia, the province in which I live lately and um, it's it, like been really bad for my throat like I'm already talking like eight hours a day six to eight hours a day at least oh nice so um, my throat's already like irritated at the best of times now we got like all this like literally the city is blanketed in like a, a thin to thick haze of literal forest smoke I figured why not try it. It wasn't really worth it, and then we'll get a, our bomb here, and we'll hope for a small rock, but if it does give us a spirit heart, well, we paid five cents for it, so that's fair. Yeah, that's... I think we... Did we get two out of that? We might have gotten two. They were stacked on top of one another. So my throat is getting, like, really irritated, man. I think I talked about it in an earlier episode, but for real, like, I went outside and, like, took a deep breath of air on, like, Sunday. It's Thursday morning now, and I was like, well... That really irritated my throat. I bet I'm gonna get a little sick. And then for like the rest of the week, I've been a little bit sick. This is no joke. I'm getting people tweeting me that like from from Dakota and Minnesota and Illinois, you know, the northern uh, American states on the in the Midwest or on the western side of the country, and they're like, man, you know, thanks a lot for this wildfire smoke, Canada. And I'm like, man, here in Vancouver, we're saying thanks a lot for this wildfire smoke, freaking Pemberton and stuff like that. I didn't start the fucking fire. Don't get on my ass. About, uh, oh, your country's giving me this smoke. Yo, dog. Just some, some asshole who did it. I could have taken Sat- Why would I not take Satanic Bible for the rest of this floor? That's the kind of sloppy play that, on a run like this where we already have a ton of HP, it's extremely unlikely to matter, but on a run where we would be, like, you know, fighting to keep the streak alive, um, this could have a, a pretty huge impact, so... You know, in a way, it's good that we've learned to be smarter about it, but, you know, at the same time, first run of the day, you know, working the working the midnight sleeps off. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but midnight sleeps, it just sounds good. It's like forever spins or something like that. Okie dokie, you are almost dead, and we have Torn Photo, which is amazing, and, ooh, I don't like this at all. We have to choose. Judas' Shadow. I love it. Um... Can we take this and then die? What if we... If we die and then re-enter... I still think it's the right idea to kill ourselves on the fire. We might not be able to re-enter, but that's fine. This way we do get to be Judas' shadow. And then we'll use the Forget Me Now. We'll have low HP, but our damage will be amazing, especially considering we just got Torn Photo. I thought maybe they'd let me go back in. They obviously don't, but that's okay. Um, we'll go uh, check out our boss trap room now. I honestly think that Judas' Shadow is kind of like a secretive best item in the game. And it's not really that much of a secret, but it's like a... It doesn't immediately give you a guaranteed huge impact. Uh, it was worth it, probably. I'll fight... Th oh, I should not have fought the room. It doesn't give you an immediately huge impact, but I think if you look at, like, people who know what they're doing... I mean, I know if you look at people who know what they're doing, uh, and you, uh... Look at, like, the correlation between wins and runs where Judas' Shadow shows up, the correlation there is gonna be an enor enormous, even relative to other items. So I figured we'd just leave here. Um, and by leave, I mean use Forget Me Now. And we'll try to keep ourselves alive here, because things look a little dangerous, and... This is weird. I think Forget Me Now does give you the same layout, like, on the chest. Or, like, the error room gives you the same layout on the chest when you come back up. I can't remember. But this is, like, exactly the same payout from the chest here, which is freaking me out something fierce. But we performed a little better. I, I didn't take that early damage against Pin. So there is that. Um... And I guess we got two bombs out of it. No, this is not the same layout, so this is okay. So... We're not in an urgent position, but I would like to pick up another key. Hey, that's extremely good. Um, the reason I want to pick up another key is so that we can go to item room and shop, and then if we just get two cents, we can buy a spirit heart and we're feeling pretty good. There's our second key. Uh, we actually do have the extra two cents pretty much guaranteed because we have a bomb. There's another key. Anarchist cookbook is terrible, but um, at least we have something, and if we get Pyromaniac, we can use this to great effect, obviously. If we don't get Pyromaniac, which we probably won't, um, I'm probably gonna abstain from using it, just because our HP is in a little bit of the danger zone right now. 
Yeah, no, this is really good right now. I can't be, uh, I can't be mad about this. Now I'd like, like, a half red heart to drop. Only three cents for this one, so we'll absolutely pick it up. Um, I'd like a half red heart to drop. I know we could blow up our donation machine and probably pick up a full red heart, but I really want a chance to be able to get, uh, something from our deal with the devil that only costs red hearts instead of spirit hearts. It's actually fairly likely that, um, we won't get a deal with the devil, obviously, which is fine. We were a little bit spoiled for choice. I mean, I don't know what our other deal with the devil item was in there at, at two hearts, but, um... If only one of them had been a one heart deal, we would have been able to take both, and considering that one of them was already Judas' of Shadow, we would have been in a, a crazy good position. For now, though, it's going well. Um, obviously, we're going to be a little slower than your average uh, run at this point, but with Judas' of Shadow, we should speed up a little bit more after that, and that's all that really matters. we got a range upgrade. Let's finish our exploration on this floor, because why not, basically? HP looks good. Uh, our range honestly didn't need any help. We were already doing pretty well with the shot speed upgrades that we'd had. But it's kind of just a filler item. I can live with it. We'll put this down, and this is pretty much what I was hoping for, is just guarantee that we'd blow up the pots. There was a lot of room on that room as well, and now if we get a blood bank or something like that, we can get a little bit more money. I don't think Swallowed Penny is a top tier trinket, but it's okay. And we've got a, a pretty top tier run right now, largely as a result of the uh, Forget Me Now helping us out, letting us do a second floor. Where we picked up Anarchist Cookbook, <laughs> a Spirit Art, and a Range Upgrade. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. And maybe it was just because of the luck we got uh, our first time through that floor, where we got Torn Photo, Judas' of Shadow, and a really easy means with which to kill ourselves, um, which seems to be working out very nicely so far. Took way more hits than I expected. So we would be expecting, unless I've got my math completely wrong, we'd be expecting only a 25% penalty to our deal with the devil chances. So we can uh, not entirely compensate for that, but let's just assume we're going to have a 75% chance regardless. Um, we can sort of aid and abet that a little bit by blowing up like a single judgment, which I probably wouldn't be likely to play a judgment anyway based on the fact that we don't have very much money. So that would be maybe the best of both worlds. Now that would only give me like another, you know, 18% on top because it's a 25% it's a modifier as opposed to a, you know, 25% flat penalty. Um, but still, it, that would put us in a situation where we'd be like reasonably expecting one to show up. Extra spirit heart, always important. Uh, but this does seem like one of those runs, and not always important, I guess, because of what I'm about to say. But it seems like one of those runs where um, we could pretty quickly, if we just get a little bit more damage, start to not really have to worry about spirit hearts pretty soon. Reminds me of like... I was, a, I was a weird uh, teenager. I used to watch, like, infomercials on YouTube all the time. Not to be like, oh, I want to buy that, but to be like, you know, these guys are weird. And there's this uh, infamous infomercial, like, late-night TV advertising company called Ronco. I'm not disparaging the Ronco Corporation. I, uh, I've never used any of their products. I don't know if they're particularly good or particularly terrible, but they were advertising. Ooh, rotten baby. Very, very good. They were advertising this product as like the Ronco Rotisserie Grill, and they were doing the, the George Foreman thing, like, this is pre-George Foreman, I think, or around the same area. Not pre his birth, because he's like 60, but you know. Anyway, probably older, actually, but anyway. Um, this is from like the 80s. So it was a rotisserie, and you would put your chicken on the rotisserie instead of frying it, and it would be like, by not using a tablespoon of oil, you're gonna get skinny again. And so they had all these testimonials, which were obviously fake and paid for, and it would be like, well, how did you do with the Ronco Rotisserie Grill? He's like, I lost 10 of the hardest pounds of my life. And then they're like, well, okay, how was it? And he's like, oh, uh, it was easy. I just did, uh, well, make up your mind, motherfucker. Was it the hardest thing in your life or was it the easy? Like, what, it doesn't, you're not making any sense here. You gotta talk to your manager. It's like, man, spirit heart, always important, except for the fact that it's like completely not important. Anyway, that's how I felt about that. That's my infomercial story. Info, there's something inherently kind of sad when I watch infomercials, because you have to know that they work to some extent. Like, I, I want to preface this because it's possible that this might offend some people. I want to preface this by saying, believe what you believe. It's possible, completely, that I'm the ignorant one in this situation. Let's take our pills here before I go off on this tangent. Okay, we got a lot. Pheromones, paralysis, telepills. Um, okay, we'll go back. Uh, and we'll see what the other pill is. Obviously, Mini Mush was in there too, which is fine. But there's like... The glasses that give you HD vision, come on. 
Like, it'll be like a 70-year-old person. Hey, speed upgrade. And they'll put on a pair of glasses. And then their vision will get better. And I'm not talking about prescription glasses. These are like sunglasses. And then the screen is like, now you're seeing in HD. And it actually has like the HD symbol on it. I'm like, yo, do you have any idea how your fucking eyes work? That's not how that works. Like, yes, of course you can get reading glasses and stuff like that. But if your vision is already perfect, putting on this pair of glasses is not going to make you... Oh, wow. Well, jeez. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free, you know? I don't know if that's really where I wanted to go with that expression in hindsight, but anyway. Um, or, like, the magnetic bracelets. I... You know, I know that there's probably going to be people out there who have family members who wear those magnetic bracelets. There's nothing wrong with it. Worst case scenario is the placebo effect, right? It's not like it's actively harming people, except, you know, of course, literally financially. But, um, they always appeal to, like, this vague sort of, like, you know, ancient Chinese doctors have known this secret for millions of years, but somehow it's been completely lost to history until this corporation incorporated two years ago in Hoboken, New Jersey, discovered it, unearthed it from the ancient ruins of Angkor Wat, and you're like, I don't really, it's like a shitty, like a 10 cent magnet wrapped in like a piece of aluminum. It's not, it helps blood flow. Well, how? Well, you know, there's, you, you wouldn't understand. Well, you, try, you know, there's hemoglobin is like, it's got iron. Iron is a magnetic uh, metal, so that, no, it's bullshit, okay? It pulls the, it, be careful, the magnets are pulling the oxygen out of your blood, man. You're gonna die. Anyway. It just, it, like, the, the ones for fitness stuff, like, that doesn't really bum me out that much. Like, a, a late night ad for, like, a Bowflex or something like that. If you eat right and you use the Bowflex, you, you can get fit, right? Even the Hawaii chair. Like, if the only exercise you do is the Hawaii chair, but you, if it helps you sort your lifestyle out, that's fine. I just, like, it's scientific shit that gets me, man, when they're like, does your life suck? Well then, you know, you should take this pill and it cures hepatitis C. But it might not actually cure hepatitis C. We've been mandated by the FDA to say that. Anyway, it's just... It, late night infomercial culture kind of bums me out. As does daytime infomercial culture, but... You know, I used to watch TBS all the time. Which I think was then called Peachtree TV and is now back to being called TBS, but anyway. And I was in, like, a high school, um, oh, that's a better trinket. I was in high school summer vacation, but all the ads when you watch, like, Judge Judy are like, are you tired of being, like, really lonely? Well, like, here's personal ads, and also, you should totally go to this for-profit university. But, you know, people, you gotta make your own decisions in life. I'm not looking down on anybody. Just these fucking predatory companies, man. Appealing to people by basically just being like, we're an authority, so we can lie to you. But they're not actually, like an authority. And I'm not a very cynical person. That stuff makes me a little cynical, though. This is a tough one. Do we take the pact, or sorry, the mark, or do we take a uh, cat piece? I think we take the mark because it gives us a better, um, it gives us survivability to go along with it, I guess, is what I was going for there. And honestly, have we been to our item room on this floor? I don't think we have because it's, it's gone far too fast for us to have reasonably done that. We are in a little bit of a tricky spot. Might as well try this. Um, we are in a little bit of a tricky spot just because our HP is so low, but I mean, our damage is really awesome, and Rotten Baby does mean that I don't feel too bad about the fact that we didn't get to pick up that cat piece because we are summoning the occasional fly, and our flies are doing a decent amount of damage because we have Judas's Shadow, Torn Photo, and well, I guess Torn Photo doesn't help, but uh, the, the mark, but I'll admit, if I can get a couple more spirit arts and they give me access to that deal with the devil again, I would love to go back there and get uh, Guppy's Hairball. Just to give us the maximum possible chance of getting this uh, deal, but that's okay. I'm amazed. Like, I, I talk about this now and then, but basically, I'm coming at this from the perspective of, like, someone who had television, for whom television was a reality in, like, everyday entertainment. Um, which is not rare or anything like that. And then I just didn't have TV for, like, eight years. So from like 2006 to, well, actually, yeah, like 2006 to 2015, I basically didn't have TV. Um, so I'm watching it again now that Kate and I have cable, which we wouldn't have even gotten, except it's, uh, I wonder if we could have walked over there without blowing that up, but anyway. I'm just gonna use this to get it out of the way. We wouldn't have gotten, except when we uh, rented our apartment, the company was like, hey, we'll give you like free cable and internet for a year as a move-in special, but anyway, that's beside the point. 
Uh, I've been enjoying having having cable. I, I've been a, a cord cutter, as they're called, for many years now. However, I, I enjoy the convenience of cable. I'll admit, and uh, it's a little bit expensive for what you get, but I like it, and uh, I like that. I like to have it for sports as well, because I'm a big dumb animal. But anyway, um, I'm amazed at the amount of like come fuck me commercials that are on TV. Has it always been like this, and I've just never noticed? Like I have seen. Of course, when I was younger, there would be like phone sex line ads and stuff on, on late night TV. But we'll be watching, I guess it's because we keep a late schedule. We'll be watching like the Food Network at 11.30. Or National Geographic Channel. Which don't let that paint me as some kind of intellectual. We mostly watch it for border security to see people try to bring like AK-47s across the border. And then the guard goes, hey, you know, like, you can't really bring like an AK-47 in Canada. And they go, but, but, what, but, but what are you talking about? Ah, nasty bad trip there, but anyway. Um, and there'll be an ad, it'll just be like a scantily clad woman in a negligee. And I'm ne I don't know what a negligee is, but you know, it's a kind of lingerie. There, It's all the A's, which is especially because we're Canadian, we're very familiar with. Um, but, and she'll just be like, lonely? Come chat to me tonight on this number, blah 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 blah. And I'm like, God, people still fall for this? I was watching Cutthroat Kitchen featuring, uh, you know, Captain America of the culinary world, Alton Brown, and all of a sudden I got this phone sex ad, and don't even get me fucking started on these Cougar Life ads, man. What is it? this Cougar Life thing is ever, and, or Ashley Madison. Like, this is this online uh, dating site for extramarital affairs, to put it in the nicest way possible. And they're just coming on. You're watching, like, you know, TLC or something like that. And it's like, hey, want to cheat on your wife? Well, here you go. Want to cheat on your husband? Here you go. And I'm like, man, this is a crazy world for advertising we live on. And it comes on, like, right after an ad that is like, you know, explore Michigan. Here in Michigan, we've got one of the world's top 200 golf courses. Come explore Michigan. And I'm like, man, I didn't know that. What's the rank? You're like, 197. But come on, explore Michigan. We are not just Detroit. Not that I have anything against Detroit. Alright, let's talk about the run a little bit here. Basically, too long didn't watch. Uh, TV advertisements are freaking me out, man. It's like I'm in another world. But I guess it's the same, man. Like, internet ads are like that. Like... Internet ads, you'll just be like you're watching a good mythical morning video or something like that. The ad on the side will be like, "Wanna fuck a you know Ukrainian uh, like mail order bride?" And I'm like, "No, not really. I just kind of want to watch like good mythical morning, rated G for general." Anyway, is this Necropolis one or Necropolis two? And don't even give me this shit. Like ads are based on your search history. You have no idea. I mean, that is true. Some of the time, and maybe even all the time, but it's actually based on the keywords that the company chooses to target. And that's not always infallible, you know? I get ads that are like, you know, uh, you know, this mythical plant will help you live forever. And I'm like, I've just been Googling Vancouver Canucks Prospects 2016. Maybe it's like, this guy's getting old. He needs to, <laughs> if he's ever going to try out and make the Utica Comets, he's going to need some kind of herbal supplement. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is uh, the, the second anarchist cookbook that we've gotten. I'm not really interested. Uh, it's been a good run. Like, I can't stress that enough. I'm just a little bit salty at the uh, the lack... Of, that's paralysis, I think, yeah. At the lack of HP I have. Sad Bombs is wonderful, though. Um, if I could just pick up, like, one extra red heart, that would be great. But let's be honest, I'd probably give it away on the next floor anyway. Because what I got you gotta get it, put it in you. Oh, what I got you gotta get it, put it in you. I don't think the AAA battery actually allows us to charge the one room items any faster. I hope I'm not mistaken in that, because that's a pretty fundamental thing to get wrong. But um, if we get another spacebar item, like maybe a Book of Revelations or something like that, um, we would, or a Crystal Ball would also work, but something that gives us Spirit Arts is just what I'm looking for. Um, then that would actually be an awesome pickup, but to be quite honest with you, I'm pretty happy with the situation we find ourselves in right now. Like, obviously a little bit of extra HP would give me some peace of mind, but it seems like we're doing really well in spite of the fact that we have low HP. And, uh, I'm wary about anything that's gonna mess with that balance. A waste of a key, but, you know, we, we got over here regardless and picked up a lot of bombs out of it, so it's all good. 
Alright. We will go into the curse room, even though it is going to cost us HP in the process. And it didn't really give us anything at all. Except another three flies, I suppose. Which is not meaningless, but it's not much. Definitely this. Uh, we've got good money. Let's buy that. Let's buy the key. And I think we'll just donate uh, as much money as we can now. And that is that. Alright, we are ready to go. And there goes the spirit heart that I just purchased. But at least it wasn't... Uh, it, it doesn't take us lower. At least I purchased it, you know? I'm, I'm happy to have had it. Alright, there's our secret room. Sack of pennies is fine. Like, it's... Uh, not an incredible upgrade or anything like that, but it's it's nice. The only thing I'm worried about now is the fact that as we get closer and closer to the... Uh, you know, I'm going to blow this up. We'll probably get enough money to give us more bombs anyway, but... Um, yes, we did. Uh, as we get closer and closer to, like, the womb, you know, damage doubles down there, and we're going to find ourselves in maybe a dangerous position where one or two bad hits could put us really up against the eight ball, so I'm hoping to pick up, like, an eternal heart or something, and we might even just want to hold on to it. Wow, lucky us. I, by hold on to it, I mean like not trade it for a deal with the devil, but that'll depend what our deal with the devil is as well. I'm getting excited uh, a little bit, honestly. We're starting to inch closer and closer to uh, double digits, which I plan to be in for a while. <laughs> Mathematically speaking. This is great. This is a really good room. Uh, Hematemesis was not bad. Two of hearts or paralysis? Well, I mean, two of hearts is worthless, but paralysis is actually worth less than something that's worthless, weirdly enough, so... That's good. I'll tell you what. I don't know that that actually worked out for us because we couldn't have possibly gotten a payout from it, but let's use two of hearts here. Uh, that way we got one payout on that guy. I would like this Demon Judgment to pay out with like a contract from below or something like that. We had the option to pick it up earlier, but... Oh, I can get that. We had the option to pick it up earlier, but because we didn't, I think it's still in the pool. Alright. I wonder if we fucked up the, like, uh... Demon Judgment always pays out on 6th thing by leaving midway through our first payment. By the way, if you're wondering why I did that earlier, so I, you know, I was going to get hit going into the curse room anyway, I figured we might as well at least give him uh, a little bit of... Like, I'd rather get hurt productively on the Demon Judgment than get hurt uh, for no reason going into the curse room. So we got kind of the best of both worlds, even though neither world ended up actually being that useful for us. Extra black card. We got to do... That with a little bit more vigilance, I think, because without that, our HP is going to be in a really dangerous situation. Uh, again, if I just make a couple of wrong moves. Doctor's Remote is pretty bad. Shop, we can guilt-free buy whatever we want here. I don't really want the Converter in spite of what I've been saying, honestly. Oh, another health upgrade. Uh, yeah, like, I really don't feel like the Converter is what I want here, because the Spirit Hearts are going to be more valuable than the 2 to 1 ratio that we need to convert them to red hearts because they're worth the same once we get a little bit further down. I want red hearts, but I don't want to give spirit hearts up to, to get them. He still paid out on 6, I think. It might have been a coincidence, but... I think I messed that one up a little bit. That's okay. It's been a, a long run considering we have Judas' Shadow, but um, I think it's good because if I... Is that another... I thought it was health up, but luck up is also great, but um, I think it's good that I've taken so much time because it's been important to, to make sure that I don't completely fuck it up, basically. We've been a, a, kind of subtly on the razor's edge for a long time during this run. Like, this is a run where really, really shitty play could have squandered it super early, so I'm not saying I'm proud of how I played, I'm just saying, you know, I've done literally, like, what was required of me to succeed here, given the tools that we had. So let's uh, start busting these guys up. Hopefully getting some black hearts. Oh, jeez. Oh, ghost baby. Two of diamonds. Um, I don't see a reason like not to pop that right now. Just remember, sad bombs pushes our bombs out of the way. And as a result, has created this shitty pattern, which is annoying. But whatever. Lovers? Yeah, it's not bad. Shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, we have the Sun card, which we'll probably use for Vision, if I'm... It's down here. I'll probably use for Vision, if I'm being honest with you. Sooner or later. Bad trip. Uh, does not turn into full health yet. You know, I'm just going to use this right here, and that's like a super lazy play. But I really want this guy to pay out, and I don't want to have to work for it that hard. Paralysis. I'll just use it, get it out of the way. 
We do still have a full health pill in the form of Bad Trip. We can't use it yet, but we have it. Ooh, that was me hitting my elbow on the side of the desk. Never fear. I got strong elbows. Ah! <laughs> fear! The, the pain was just delayed onset. Okay. Loki, help distract me here from my inevitable mortality, please. Good. We'll pick this up now. I really want that demon judgment to pay out. I mean, I feel like this is pretty much a guaranteed win, but it's only, like, it's a formality to make it happen because we're missing out on, on the HP, basically. Paralysis, again, just use it. Get it out of the way. It's only, like, a second loss. So health down, speed up. Health down, speed up. That's the way we like to fuck. No, it doesn't really make... And he's, that sounds terrible. Jesus, the connotations there were not considered. I'm going to take health down, though, so we can basically take a free deal with the devil without it uh, without it hindering our HP. Which I guess is implicit when you say it's a free deal with the devil, but you get the idea. Alright. Like, I'm assuming like a full health pill is great, or a bad trip pill can be great. Uh, but it's not really that useful if you only have two heart containers to begin with, so... In this case, I think it's probably better for us to take this. Might as well try for some more black hearts. And we got two of them there, which is actually amazing. So we'll try to use Chariot on this... No, we'll try to use Chariot on this room. This is much more um, doable here. Although we did use like all of our flies, which sucks pretty bad. Alright, we should also maybe... Uh, take a quick peek for a second secret room. I'm following the rabbit hole here. Could it be down on this room? It must be down on this room then. Other one, otherwise, we're too far away. And that is not a guppy item, but it was well worth the bomb. All right, let's do it. I mean, I feel like we've got a uh, a really, really good run here. Pretty much just on the back of great damage, but the extra uh, black hearts and spirit arts have been fine as well. Probably less likely to find them, like find HP on future floors as a result of... Oh, no deal with the devil, which sucks. Uh, but as a result of there not being um, skulls to blow up anymore. But we can still get Tinted Rocks, and that'll be that'll be that. Curse of the Unknown is, is only bad once we start taking damage. If we can avoid taking much damage, slash any damage, then that's fine. Trinket-wise, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it because we have Sad Bombs, so... The more bombs we get, uh, or sorry, the more money we get, the better it is for us. So I have an incentive to pick up money. That's bad trip again, which I should have remembered, but, you know. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. If shoulds and woulds were services and goods, we'd all have a thriving economy. Okay. Trying to desperately avoid the big room. This is a very common uh, secret room location. And there it is indeed. We'll just blow him up. Uh, hoping for better pills. Hematomesis is not necessarily bad. But with Curse of the Unknown becomes a little bit more of a liability, I suppose. And we'll just head down through the center here and hope for the best. One more. Two more. That's what I meant to say. Another bad trip is getting a little ridiculous. But we might have a chance to use that if we get a deal with the devil here. And we really should have a good chance at getting a deal with the devil here. What do we have right now? We have two red heart containers, right? And then, well, yeah, because otherwise this would be a health up. If we only had one, it would be a health up. Or we have three, at which point this doesn't really matter. Um, and actually we have two health down pills, which is really interesting. I don't want Necronomicon at all. Just create more flies, but... Um, two health down pills is really interesting. If we take two deals with the devil now, just want to be cautious here. If we take two deals with the devil, we can come back and get two HP upgrades and then take bad trip with us. But we got to make sure, first off, we get a deal with the devil. Secondly, we'll go back for those once the creep is gone. Secondly, that we even, you know, want the deals because we have Curse of the Unknown, not Curse of the Lost, or sorry, Curse of the Blind, so we know what they are. Let's, um, we'll deal with this, you know, kind of, uh, Logic puzzle once we actually get involved here, but I'm I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty good about the situation we find ourselves in now. Uh, we won't take the halo yet. My fucking brain. Okay, so we take this, and then we take this. 
which gives us nine lives. We will now have one HP. Then we'll take this, which will take us down to zero HP, with some spirit hearts to back us up. And if we're at zero HP, I should be able to use this health upgrade. And then I should be able to go back here and get this. It should still be a health upgrade. And then I can go get this bad trip. And I can go get the halo. <clears throat> and this will take us to 3 HP. So, that was awesome. Uh, that... It, it, like, this is not a god tier strategic... Oh, and then we can just go full invincibility, although I just abandoned it. But anyway, it's not like a... It, this is maybe better because we have bad trip as a failsafe. But, um, it's not a god tier strategic decision. We just got lucky enough to have, like, all those readily available tools. It's like if you put together a hammer and a nail. You're not a master carpenter. You know how to use hammers and nails. But I'll admit, you know, we did become Guppy, get nine lives, and gain an all stats upgrade, including one extra HP on top of what we started with uh, on that boss fight slash deal with the devil, which is amazing. Plus, we got Sister Maggie. I didn't even remember that. We took all three deals with the devil, became Guppy, got an all stats upgrade. All from one, uh, one deal with the devil there. Pretty good. <laughs> Suffice to say, you know, again, I, I don't take much credit for that. I, it was easy enough to fuck up, admittedly, if you didn't work through the logic. And, you know, there will be people who are like, well, you, you still did fuck it up. <laughs> you should be on entirely spirit arts right now, so you have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Not false, actually, although this does give us better use of bad trip. Depends what you want in life. I don't think we actually gain that much from permanent Polaroid invincibility, except survivability, which we don't need. We don't have, like, an orbital or anything that works out in our favor. Mostly, I'm just happy we found ourselves in a situation where that could happen. This is a likely secret room set up here. Inside, we find greed, which sucks for greed. Oh, this should set us up nicely for bombs. Um, so what would be ideal items for me now? I would love to see BBF show up. BBF exploding into sad bomb shots that do a ton of damage, that uh, generate a ton of flies, and just start me off on the right foot like every other room. Because I'm assuming we're going to be too fast uh, killing these enemies to use at every single room. Hive mind like cannot show up now. Honestly, I don't unless it's Book of Belial, I don't really want it, so Bad Trip Tower Suicide King. Look, Suicide King's kind of funny, but what do we have Bad Trip? Fuck it, we'll take uh, we'll take Suicide King with us. And we'll use it uh we'll use it on um the chest to get more items. And it could be a touch risky, but Suicide King is guaranteed... Oh my lord. Well, we're going to kill ourselves on this one anyway. But Suicide King is guaranteed to give you uh, chests. So we might as well use it on the uh, initial... It's guaranteed to give you one chest, maybe. We'll use it on the initial room on the chest, and that should work. And then I get a, a feather in my cap where I can say, Hey, Northern Lion still cares about zaniness, y'all. It's the same old Northern Lion you've always known. I'm figuring at this point, 31 bombs is probably more than enough to carry us through here. Sorry, 30 bombs now. 30 bombs. Don't really need these spirit hearts, considering I'm intending on killing myself fairly soon in the game. Mm, we will open those. But I'm hoping maybe we pick up a uh, small rock out of those. So, of course, Joker, two of clubs. Two of clubs, okay. Solid enough. We didn't pick up the bombs first, but again, it doesn't really matter. This is not a math test where... If you get more correct answers, you uh, you win. This is more like a driving test where you either pass or you fail. And if you ever brag about what you get in your driving test, people are going to call you a dick. Now, we're going to just keep moving. Oh, hello. How's it going? Ruka's being very needy. Yeah, he's, he's been meowing like crazy. I would, like, I was drinking my coffee. He was sitting on my lap. And when I went to grab my coffee mug, he bit me on the hand. He's like, you know, oh, you don't need coffee anymore. You have me. It's false, Ruka. I still need the uh, coffee. They're, they're not mutually exclusive. Kate, do you think I should reroll my run? No. Got it. Oh my god, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay, what do we do? We still have mom's purse somehow. How did this happen? Oh, Kate, my damage is real bad. I said no. She did. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, my damage is great. It's just that my fire rate is terrible. But I think I might have Sacred Heart. Like, the tears are really fast and really slow. Which has me thinking maybe Sacred Heart's playing a role. 
I may also have Holy Mantle. That speed upgrade is helpful. Well, we'll see how this works out. I mean, I'm assuming that the flies are going to do crazy damage. I lost uh, Guppy's head? That's alright. I thought with the six room you didn't lose the item you were holding. Maybe I just put it on the ground for no reason. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll head down to the next floor. 69 bombs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and let's uh, murder ourselves. That could be a Yara rune dog. What? That was the weirdest comeback to life animation I've ever seen. It just like faded to black. Uh, Joker card. I don't really want the Bible. Oh, let's see what this is. It's a Hagalaz rune, so it's worthless. Oh, snap. Money equals power. Gimpy. Could be useful, actually. Get some spirit hearts dropped on the ground. Monstro's Tooth, Hourglass, Taurus. Hmm. I guess we'll take uh, Monstro's Tooth. And maybe we'll take Samson's Lock. So Money Eagle's Power is going to help us do, like, stupid amounts of damage. Very excited by this. Uh, we may <laughs> have to beat Blue Baby without getting hit, which is not really that scary. I think it's actually going to add, like, a nice little element of... Uh, of caution on the on the end of this run, which is gonna be fun, but honestly, I would say that that worked out like relatively well. As it often does, like it's not like a reroll is usually the end of your life. It does happen from time to time. Oh, we don't have sad bombs anymore. That is its own little miniature tragedy, if you're asking me. Oh man, our flies are doing so much damage. Thank you, Monstro's Tooth. Wow, good finish. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.